Alright guys, welcome to Game Whist Plays to the Moon. This is episode 8. I'm Eli, and I'm joined once again by Jessica. Hello. She is here. We are we are pounding through this thing. Um, very close to the end. I think it'll, this will probably be the last episode. Stuff has just gone crazy. Uh, episode 7 was very sad. I can't even recap it. If you started at episode 8, just, just go back. Just don't even start here. Go back to 7 at least. Actually, go back to 1. But if you gotta go back, only one episode. Go back to 7. Stuff was sad. It was crazy. Anyway. Here we are, we're in Johnny's memories, the whole construct is breaking down, and we're just going to do this thing. So let's go. Alrighty. Oh, rabbits. It's finished, River. She won't be alone anymore. What is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. So these are all fragments. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people, Nick. Well, you definitely weren't typical, even then. What is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Got a little reading there. False click. Got some pickled olives. So she built the mansion so the lighthouse wouldn't be alone? So she could watch it forever, I think. I just... Anyway, it'd help you understand your condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Why didn't he want to understand your condition? Mm. Yeah, I just feel like there's still a little piece missing somewhere. Yep. A little something else we gotta know. Oh god, ah! horses! <laughs> <laughs> it's the rabbit again. It went down in a room. Playing some piano. And for his new clothes. Jeez. Oh, Can I get up there? No. I can't interact with that clock, even though it has the icon. <sighs> All these rabbits. What's this? Hello! Wait, don't go. I'm Johnny. What's your name? <laughs> A little creeped out. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all for myself. I'm just... This is too creepy. <laughs> Let's carry on. Look, it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. Can you interact with them anymore? Not really, no. It's a phone. Okay. Yeah, I answered that. Hello, Neil. Morpheus? <laughs> what? It's Ava, you idiot. <laughs> No shit. We're the only ones here. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you're accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? Ah, this is weird. Okay. Spooky Mormon hell dream. Indeed. What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. <laughs> she left the platypus? She left the book she was reading. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. 
They just pulled the trigger already. Where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser. There's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Forget it, there's no time. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, what are you? Shh. But she's not there. Ahem. Uh, hello? Sorry, kid. It's already started. I don't understand how this gives him his wish. I don't know either. I guess we're gonna see. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same. Sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Oh, he left his brother alive. Totally. And olive refills are just a step away. Ugh, olives. Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Really? To race there. Seems a little brash, doesn't it? Well, but he'll go, to, he'll go to the moon, you know. That's not what he wanted. No. He wanted river. Umbrella. Nah, 
Scheiße. This ending does not feel cathartic at all. You actually made it, huh? You sound surprised. Whatever happened to we always succeed because we are awesome? This isn't a success. True. I agree. Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left, so at least he's got to check this place out. I don't even want to walk around anymore. I don't need <laughs> Screw you, game. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. I really hope it's not River. Please don't meet River. That's that's like the biggest cop out ever. If he meets you this way. How pathetic! All this trouble just for some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic! All this trouble, just for some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. To the moon. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by oh. Joey Watts. <laughs> Can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. Sheesh, he really likes his backpack. I like how they gave NASA space doors. I should check this room out some more, I think. Nothing over here? Just NASA stuff? Rockets, moons? Yay, NASA! Alright. I hate that this is literal. I really, this is just like, oh, yeah. guys. Four bars and relinks. Okay. Looks like we're hitting the elevator. Um, is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? <laughs> Probably somewhere at the bottom, worked the way up, but oh well. No, this is just... More NASA. More NASA. <laughs> this is the Mission Control Center. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I have expected to see Zordon on that screen. Power Rangers reference, nice. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. Alright. I don't know what she's mad about, but we'll go back to the elevator. <laughs> So, do you think last century's moon landing was... Let's not, Neil. Let's not. It was totally real. Let's not, Eli. Let's <laughs> not. Let me out of here. Okay. And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, uh, yes. The spinny thingy. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have that long left. Put my head in here real fast. Your records are excellent, but we'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. Hmm. Come on, let me on the elevator. What when the, was the where was the thing that required three bars? It was on the first floor. I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Ugh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Uh, what? You need to work on your communication skills. That wasn't the fourth one? Really? I think that you gotta go back down to three. Or wherever. The one that... Oh, it's in here somewhere. What? 
Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. <laughs> oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. <laughs> it's a pretty drawn out joke just to mess with the user. It's funny. Damn it. Click better. Right. I do enjoy how self aware this game is, though. That's a lot of fun. Very tongue in cheek. All right, it's right here, I think. Cry the memory links. Yeah. I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part what Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, uh, yes. A wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. Nice to meet you. At least you got in the NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. I mean, Johnny's pissed that this is what you're doing. There she is. Ah. Uh, Here's our new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. Oh, yay. Woo! I almost thought that she. What's. She Ava? But you deleted her. No, I told you, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world is based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain... It all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How are you sure that it'd work? I wasn't. Could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. We still have two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny'd appreciate some company. and playing the song. At NASA? Oh, yes. <laughs> On a white baby grand. I think it's an upright, actually, but whatever. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. Oh. I like that name. Hmm. 
little red-headed girl. <laughs> Oh, they put the doctor in there? And Lily? Yeah, they did. So they can all go to the moon with her? Yeah, they're all going to go to the moon together. Johnny's a little older. A little more prime for moon travel? <laughs> Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. Oh, they are going to the moon together. I like that. We're gonna go watch the lunch. I wanna be an astronaut too, Dad. One day, son, you just might. Meh. Did you think that they would make it? Heh, <laughs> did you? No. The way she is, I didn't think she would succeed. But I... I guess I was wrong. All the better then, isn't it? Yes, I'm happy for them. I'm glad they still exist. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Wow! Yep. I once wrote a book about this, too. <laughs> With a less optimistic ending. <laughs> Might have to change that after all. Just like totally, just that's the most meta thing in the game, the most meta statement. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, he was the one who requested it. Did you find out why he wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And? What all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. You know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we'd lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now, your colleague's waiting. Oh, I didn't even see her up there. Yeah, just chilling. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? You just did it. Mm -hmm. Come up here. Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Come on. Mission control. Can't see the top and the bottom. <laughs> they don't have helmets. They don't need them. They're astronauts, man. What do you vomit in? That's oh, lovely. He's losing it. Come on, Johnny. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them.
Alright, so the ending was pretty cathartic. I mean, when they launch a rocket, right? It's kind of kind of hard not to feel like it was right. <laughs> yeah, you put them moves on. <laughs> I wish he'd have shoved her off. It would have been funny. They never built the house. Did they still get Oh, I guess they got married again. Yeah, they did build the house. Yeah. Did she not die of her illness? Shh. They had the money to do both because they were astronauts. Oh no, did it never make it to the moon? Close enough. Oh, man. So this is typically the part where we uh, talk about the game and give some final thoughts. I just kind of need a minute to collect myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought actually uh, having the Having him meet her at NASA at the end was like super heavy-handed, but it wasn't. That was that that was right. That absolutely needed to happen. Um, and I think oh God, even this is bringing back. It's making me sad just seeing this part. But like, he, probably the moment on the log when they were children is one of the saddest moments I've ever experienced in video games. Like, easily, easily. It was, oh my God, it was terrible. It was oh, can't put into words. Um, so even though we sat here and you've watched us play this game and it's not very gamey, it's, it's a lot of story, you know, you've basically seen what this game has to offer, you should go throw money at these people. Um, just go, just pay for it. It's ten dollars. Consider it like a movie ticket because holy crap, this was just, this was fantastic. Um, I think if I had to levy any kind of uh, complaints against it, the parts where the game suffered the most were the gamey parts. Uh, movement kind of sucked. Uh, obviously solving the puzzles and things. Um, we're kind of, I think, just written in there because you got to do something, right? I mean, there's got to be some kind of game here, and so let's just make them solve some simple puzzles. Whatever, it doesn't matter. These are like a drop in the bucket complaints compared to how just incredible this story was and how great the writing was, um, and how uh, it's just fantastic. Um, I hope, I hope these guys keep cranking out games and keep cranking out ones where the writing is this quality. And I, shit, man, I'd, I'd sort numbers for an hour just to just to play through a story like this again. So, fantastic stuff. Um, Done by Freebird Games, like the credits show here. You can check them out at freebirdgames.com. Keep an eye on what these guys are doing. You know, this game's like a year old. They probably got something else in the works. We hope. Um, and we go. We hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. This was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, Jessica and I will do another one at some point in the future. Um, they can be this this gripping. Really great. Oh God, he's at her grave. Oh wow. A little Both story. their graves. Is it two? Here he is. Thanks, off you go now. I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. Heh, <laughs> who else was there to give it to? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, maybe swimming with the fishes. Still a little too soon. Nah, it's never soon enough. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Ava here. We're on our way. New patient? New patient. Let's roll. Whoa.
Hmm. Oh, episode one. So this may have... Uh... Yeah, so I guess we're going to see, hopefully, some extra parts. And that was really interesting, and a very interesting... Um, Lead into the next one? Yeah, and, you know, obviously, they're, it seems like they're still in someone's memory. Um, if um, if they're noticing, you know, the particular flash of red happen or whatever. So it makes me wonder if there's a larger kind of uh, meta-narrative between the two of them. Like, it'd be crazy if this, this sort of ended up, like, being either Dr. Watts or Dr. Rosaline's, you know... Um, dreams being altered you know maybe there's something that's supposed to happen between these two characters i hope so they're engaging characters uh, very interesting a lot a lot of fun um to voice them as as good or as poorly as i did jessica's nodding too so i assume she had a good time voicing them had a good time. yeah yeah so hey if there's a sequel we'll narrate it and there will be yet another <laughs> another game with plays for a freebird games game but yeah like i said guys had a lot of fun i hope you did too uh stick with us uh you can check out uh, this Let's Play and more on GameList.com. So come uh, see what we're doing over there, and uh, we'll have another one for you soon.